nephew and Jamel back at it. Cooper Refuse and Harlem, man. We got a few small jobs on for today. We're going to bang it out, man. The good thing about these small jobs at the same time is scrap metal, man. So we're going to bring it to the scrap yard, get a couple pieces of cash, dollars for it. Then we're going to take care of one of our um, repeat customers, man. That's the key to success, man. We got to love what you do. We're going to stay with it. Hopefully you stay with us also, man. We on the job. Got us here stove. And like I said before, this is equivalent to your one cubic yard, man. Equivalent to your one cubic yard. So if you have a pickup truck, just think of it like a stove or a washing machine. That's one cubic yard, man. We're going to get something in the truck, man. All right. Put that bad boy up. Man, that's our minimum price right there. Plus, we get a couple dollars for it as well, man. Tip of the day. All right, ladies and gentlemen. See right here? That's your one cubic yard, man. You can put another one right there, and then you have two cubic yards. So that's how you can price your truck if you have a pickup truck, man. As you can see, we got one right here. We can put another one there. You can probably put, you can probably put six of these in here, man, if you want to get real risky. You can put some on top, put your top on. You got a full load, man. And that's one cubic yard. Just let y'all know, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, right back at it, man. We got the skids over here we're going to take care of. We're going to get them up in the truck. You know how we do. Man, we're just making it happen, man. Like I said, man, love what you do. That's how you succeed in life, man. That's the keys to it, man. We're here right now. We're going to get all these skids over there. We got the other spot over there. We're going to get some more skids. We're going to throw it up in there, man. Let's get this work now. Ladies and gentlemen, man, we got it all up in there. Well, not all of it. We got to come back for these pieces. It's all good, though. Some of them was long pieces, so we just kept them here. But we got all the other skids up in there, as you can see. Got nephew. We put the tarp on there. But it's all good, man, because like I said, we got it. It's only, if I'm, not, if I'm not lying, it's probably about, I would say, maybe three minutes away from the dump. So that's why I didn't bring no bigger truck out, man. I just bring the pickup truck, save on fuel, and... We'll just come back and get the rest of it. What, like six, seven more skids, and then we all done, man. That's why I said advertise around the dumps first, man. Save on fuel, save on time, save on money, and all that. All right, man. Got the nephew over here. It's a little windy out here, a little brisk, if you know what I mean. We're going to tarp him up. We're going to get in there. Ain't that right, nephew? All right. Off to the dump. Ladies and gentlemen, got the jobs complete for the day. It's an early day for us, but it's good. Give us time to regroup. Think about the next day, which is tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and so on. Like I said, we're getting busy right now. I'm thankful for that. I just wanted to talk to you while I'm waiting to unload this load, man, about the keys to success, man. I'm going to talk about my keys to success, man. I hope everyone takes some of this info and use it as well, man. But like I say to everyone, man, you got to be consistent, man. That's one. I'm not going in any specific order. I'm just saying... Be consistent at whatever it is that you do, man. Whatever you do in life, just make sure you're consistent with it, man. And stay, make sure you're true to it as well, man. 
You got to be true to everything that you do in life, man. The other thing is, man, you have to love what you do. Like me, honestly, I love junk removal. I love going to different places every day if I'm working every day, you know. I love going to places every day and conquering that challenge. Whatever that junk removal is, I like to see what it is we get. Sometimes we get some things that we resell. Sometimes we get some things that we donate. I like to do that as well because if I don't want to keep it, I donate it. I'm not, I'm not a hoarder or anything. I'm not going to keep it in my home. And I'm damn sure not going to throw it away in the dump because I don't want to pay for that dump fee. But it's always good to give back. So I like to donate as well. But most importantly, I like to do the different jobs every day. Meet different people, man. So love what you do, man. There's a lot of people that's out there that's still stuck on that mind frame. Like, oh, work that 9 to 5. Like I said before, there's nothing wrong with working a 9 to 5. If that's what you want to do, then do it. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of people that's not happy working that nine to five. I had to bust up out of my nine to five. I know I'm working more hours, but the most important thing is I'm doing it for myself. You know what I mean? There's nothing like doing it for yourself, getting out there in the world to see different things, man. You know what I mean? The other thing is, like, when you're doing your job, man, like, just do it with a purpose. Like, know what you're doing it for. A lot of people just do stuff just to do it. I don't understand that, man. Just know what you're doing it for, man. I know exactly what I'm doing it for. And that gives me the strength to be out here 12 to 15 hours a day at times, you know, because like I said, I do residential and junk removal. But that gives me the strength because I know exactly what I'm doing it for. And I love doing it. So why stop doing what you know what you're doing it for and you love doing it? Why stop, man? I know you got to give yourself a break and all. Yeah, everyone give yourself a break. But I just love doing junk removal, man. So love doing what you're doing, man. It doesn't matter what it is that you're doing, man. Just love doing it, man. It'll, it'll, it'll make you happy throughout the days, man. That's the keys to success, man. Stay, stay focused, man, and set goals as well, man. I always set goals. I, I, I write down goals. A lot of times I don't write it down. I, I just think about it and I speak it out into existence, man. It's like I, I see myself five years from now. Where I want to be, what I want to do, and how I'm doing it. That's a, that's like my goals. I know what I want to get. I know what I want to have. You know what I mean? And just set goals and then check them things off every time you complete it. and make you feel so much better. And if you don't complete it, don't feel bad. You still have time. I know everyone says like, time is never promised, but don't think like that. We talk about just goals, man. We're not talking about life right now. We're talking about goals, man. You have time to conquer the goals, especially you young cats, man. You young cats, you still got time. Like I said, you got the creative minds, man. So get out there, be a dream chaser, be a dream grabber, be a dream catcher, be all that, man, because you got to love what you do. Love life, keep the spirits and the vibes high, and you got it, man. We got this on lock. It's 2024. Like I said, no excuses. Let's get out there and get this work. That's Jamel Cooper Refuse and Hauling. I'm about to go in here and unload this. Like I said, I'm going to try to flood y'all with a lot of videos, man. I got a lot of um, other jobs coming up this week. Even if they one or two jobs, I'm going to try to bust out those one or two jobs and then just give you a little bit of my thought. You know what I mean? And give you a little bit of what I think about the situation that's going on in my world, in my junk removal world. And feel free, man, to um, comment below about whatever it is that you do and how you, if you love it, like what's your goals and things that you, where you see yourself five years from now. We should all ask each other that in the world. Where do you see yourself five years from now? So mention that in the comment below if you don't mind. And if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe. I do appreciate everyone that has already done that. And I appreciate it, man. But like I said, I'm about going here and unload this, regroup. Go we'll see what we got on for tomorrow. Do it all over again. That's what I love. This is no refuse in the home in LLC, man. Doing the job. This is working.